Hello everybody, welcome to part 8 of generating functions and in this video I want to go over uh, finite differences. So what finite differences is, it basically uses the idea that if I subtract two polynomial terms that have the same degree, uh, so let's say let's say x plus 1 to the n minus x to the n, we know that since the two polynomial terms have the same coefficient, the the new the resulting what we get is uh, as is degree at most n minus one so the, the the degree decreases basically and so the way we can use this is uh, for for generating functions is say say we want to generate the sequence of perfect squares so n squared right what we can do is use term shifting to create basically a new polynomial but we we would subtract what ends up happening is that we subtract uh, the previous term and that will reduce the power of our coefficients because we know that if we have that that we know that we can generate um, the sequence of just ones right and that's 1 over 1 minus x it's just 1 plus x plus x squared and so on. We know that we can generate this and so if we can figure out a way to manipulate our generating function in such a way that we create difference of, or basically just finite differences so that we get a new polynomial with reduced powers we can use the same reduction trick until we get something that's constant and then we can bring out 1 over 1 minus x. And so the way we can actually create this, uh, these finite differences is by multiplying by, uh, by f, by, by 1 minus x, right? That will give us this term shifting. It'll shift the terms over by 1, and then we'll have a negative so that it subtracts. So let's see this in power. So let's say we have f of x, right? And I'm going to generate the, the perfect squares. So that'll be 0, 0 squared, right, plus 1 squared times x. So x plus 2 squared times x squared, which is 4x squared, uh, plus 9x cubed, and uh, so on. So like that. Then, like I said, if we multiply by 1 minus x, then we can uh, write it in row by row fashion. So we have, here we just have f of x, and then here we have negative x times f of x. And so this ships the terms in, in such a way that when we, when we add or just by, by term, right, we get a new polynomial, and that is the one that generates uh, odd integers for the most part. It doesn't have a constant, uh, which would be negative one, I guess. Anyway, uh, but we, so, so really, so we don't have a, this isn't in our toolbox, right? We, we want something that has constant coefficients, so we just can plug in this. Uh, I, I believe, I believe Black Pen Red Pen calls this the friend, because um, we, and, and his application was to calculus, but just in generating functions, this is still the friend. Um, and so we can multiply by 1 minus x again. So, so now what we get is this polynomial. Uh, or, or so we shift the terms again, right? So here I have 1 minus x squared because I multiplied by 1 minus x again. So we have okay, the odd integers here and then shifted uh, odd integers here. And so when we do our addition, we get, so now we get x plus 2x squared plus 2x cubed, and so on. And so we'll notice that if we subtract two consecutive odd integers, we're just going to get 2 every time, right? So so now we can write this, right? So we have this plus x, and here I can factor out a 2x squared, because every single term here, from here on out, will be, it'll be multiplied by 2, and its degree will be at, at least 2. So we can factor out 2x squared, and then we'll just get 1 plus x plus x squared, right? Because we're we just have consecutive powers. So here we can substitute in 1 over 1 minus x. 
So we're almost there. Uh, now we just have to, well one, we have to combine this into one fraction and that comes out to be uh, x plus x squared over 1 minus x and then we have to divide by 1 minus x squared and so what that gives us is 1 minus x cubed in the denominator. So our generating function for the squares of integers is x plus x squared divided by 1 minus x cubed. Now another thing we can do uh, with this, which I, I won't show the whole uh, the full details of it, but now we can we can use this to actually generate uh, the the sum of the first n squares, right? And we know that 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 is just easily done by the partial sum trick, which is done by dividing by one minus x. Um, but that that gives us a function. But what if we want to know like the explicit form, like the explicit term of a generating function. Well, f then we can split it up into 1 minus x's, right? So, um, that is, if I, and, and, which is basically done by, by partial fractions, right? So, so this will generate um, the, the sum of the first n's in squares, but if we if we want a what the nth term of this is, we can use partial fractions and get this as a sum of different fractions with powers of one minus x in it. Because if we use partial fractions, we'll get just constants on top, and we know that if we have one over one minus x to some power, it's generating a diagonal of Pascal's triangle. And so we can just plug in the binomial coefficients and we can get what the nth the nth term of this is. So I won't show the, the process here because it's a lot of algebra and uh, I don't have the best handwriting to do messy algebra. Um, but but you can you can go out and venture and in general if if you want to do partial sums with, with something like one minus x, I, I recommend if you do the substitution of 1 minus x, then it makes it a lot nicer. So you just express this in terms of 1 minus x, uh, which isn't too hard, and then split it. You can just, just it's I say partial fractions, but really you just have uh, three, thing, three things that are in terms of y, and so you just split the fraction. Uh, so you get something over y squared, something over y cubed, and something over y to the fourth, as I, if I recall correctly and then you can use uh, the generating functions of 1 over y to the whatever to, to figure it out. Um, so basically what I'm saying here is that if we look at the nth the nth term of this polynomial it will be the sum of the first n squares which is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. So anyway, this is just another sort of manipulation type uh, problem or video idea, <laughs> um, where where instead of dividing by one minus x, which we've done quite a few times in the past, we multiply by one minus x to reduce powers. So uh, thank you for watching, and thank you to Black Pen Red Pen for noting that the previous version of this video didn't have any audio. Uh, so hopefully it, this one does. <laughs> um, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.